Grimoire score. What is it? What does it do? Why do I care? Right now, Grimoire score doesn't really do much for anyone. It is possibly representative of your experience with the game, depending on how much you even care about it. It doesn't get you anything. No emblems, no shaders, no nothing. That being said, it does give you something to do in these fleeting moments of year one for those of you who keep telling me you have nothing left to do. Maximum Grimoire score is 3,665 if you're on PlayStation, and 3,620, I believe, if you're on Xbox. The reason I suggest keeping up with Grimoire now is because there's not a lot of it, and if it turns out that in the future having a high Grimoire score is going to get you cool stuff, well, it's just going to be nice to be prepared. Might as well start now and max out, that way there are fewer things you'll need to do in the future. Worst case scenario, you end up with a massive Grimoire score EP that you can brag about to your friends, who will then tell you that they don't care, to which you can reply that their opinion doesn't matter because your Grimoire score is higher. The absolute first thing you should do before you do anything is go to destinystatus.com and check what Grimoire stuff you actually have remaining. It'll give you a nice clean list of everything and you can just go down the list. So where are the big Grimoire score gains? Well first, ghost hunting is probably going to get you the most Grimoire for the least amount of effort. There are guides all over the place, I've made guides if you want to check the description, but the best utility to use for ghost hunting is destinyghosthunter.net. It'll tell you which ghosts you have and you have not picked up, and is a great tool to scoop up all the ghosts. Ghost hunting is actually pretty relaxing too, so get to collecting. Not to mention that it gets you a trophy or achievement if you get 50 of the ghosts. Ghost hunting is definitely the first thing you should do before continuing the Grimoire hunt. Next up, you're going to have a lot of the class or weapon class skill requirements, and if you've only been playing one class, this is going to be a pretty long process. However, I'm willing to bet that most of you are going to need sidearm kills. One of the best places to get weapon kills, along with, say, weapon parts or armor parts or whatever, is the Dark Beyond story mission on the moon. Do it on level 22 or something, get to where the Temple of Crota opens, kill all the Thrall, die, and then repeat. This will be somewhat boring, and obviously playing the game naturally is going to be a much better use of your time. But, if you're looking to finish that last bit of Grimoire, or that last few auto-rifle kills or whatever, it's a very good spot. Weapons like Invective and Mythoclast will serve you well for those specific weapon classes. While we're on the topic of weapons, exotic weapons do have a Grimoire card, but those cards do not have any score attached to them, so if you're missing any exotics, don't worry. Anything Crucible related, you're pretty much on your own, and I'll say that Crucible stuff is the only thing that I have left remaining. You'll need 100 wins in Control, Clash, Rumble, Skirmish, Elimination per round, and Salvage are all required to get Max Grimoire, so have fun with that. Another set of Grimoire that's tough to complete are the Colossus, Ogres, and Hydra kills, because only the red health bar Ogres and Hydras and Colossus count. So where can you go kill them? Colossus, you're going to want to hit up the near end of Cerberus V3 before you go into the ship. You can do this on patrol mode. You can stand super far away up on the cliffs, shoot the Colossus and Centurion if you need them, and they'll respawn pretty quickly loot cave style. Ogres you can find in the Shrine of Oryx story mission towards the end. Note that you should do this on level 8 so you can spawn the red health bar ogres. Kill the ogre near the end, turn around, jump off the cliff, and repeat until done. How about hydras? You can find one in the Black Garden story mission where you have to use your ghost on the two panels. Kill the hydra, die in its blast, and repeat. You can kill one of these about every 30 to 35 seconds depending on your speed. You need 250 of each to get the max grimoire from all of those enemy types. Another set of challenges are public events and VIP missions. Public events, there's not a lot you can do to make the process go faster in terms of time spent, but you can use destinypublicevents.com to try and hop around from planet to planet to maximize your time. VIP missions are best done in a group on Earth. The three of you should decide who is going which way on Earth, then just span out across the entire zone. One person goes right to the Divide and then the Rock Yard, the other two go to the left, the Moth Yards, then from the Moth Yards, one person goes to the Forgotten Shore and the other goes to Skywatch. It hits every zone on Earth and does it relatively quickly. If you're by yourself, simply going to either the Rocket Yard or the Forgotten Shore will be your best bet. 
I prefer the Forgotten Shore because you don't need to go through any sort of tight tunnels or paths, you can just zip right there. Here's an example of what it looks like with a full group. Best ship. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna go um, to Skywatch. Zepic, you go to Forgotten Shore. Kanisha, go to uh, Rocky Yard. Divide, I guess. Yeah, divide Wait, then to Rocky Yard. Do you want us to, to like grab any of these things on the way, or are we waiting until... No, yeah, grab them. Okay. <laughs> if these, they want to show up, that'd be great. If the markers... Yeah, oh, they, take, okay, they take like 10 seconds. Ah, Sparrow went away. All right. There is nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got one. Uh, go grab it. It's probably mine, uh, where I gotta go kill something in the Skywatch, so pick that up. Probably. I don't want this Sparrow, it's used. I want a new yep. one. Used. I'm gonna do a little. Uh, get up there. Yep. This Ferrari's out of gas. I'm getting you one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where is this guy? Oh, I have a. Hey. Uh, nothing in Forgotten. Nothing in Divide. I mean, nothing in Rocket Yard. Anybody you got, else? You got does? A, nothing there? Oh. What's the question? Alright, then I'm going up to orbit. And this is where you would repeat the process forever until you get 250. What are you trying to do? Your mother- Next we have strikes. Now you're probably thinking, I've done hundreds of strikes. There's no way I would need this one. Well, guess again. Because unless you did those strikes via the actual strikes selected in the director menu, they don't count. Weeklies don't count, Nightfalls don't count, Vanguard playlist doesn't count. It needs to be chosen directly. Feel free to choose the strike you think you can do the fastest. Summoning pits works pretty well. Buddy up with a couple of teammates and get to work. Each run you do with a teammate will count as three runs though. One for each of you and no, I don't know why. Next up are the fallen named targets from the House of Wolves Queen Bounties. Pretty much all of them are going to be worth some level of Grimoire score, so I would recommend keeping up with your Fallen Bounties for the next few weeks if you're missing some. Of course, you can always go look up your stuff on destinystatus.com to see what you're missing and look up the location of your target. The same stuff pretty much goes for the Hive Leadership from the Dark Below. If you haven't done all of your Dark Below stuff, go do it, every last bit. There's a link in the description that has references to all of the Queen Bounty targets. Then there's just the basics, playing every story mission, playing all the PvP game modes at least once, playing on every map. If you're wondering where the hell to play First Light, Bastion, and Skywatch, you need to play them in the Combined Arms playlist. Those are probably the big things to hit when grinding that Grimoire. A lot of other stuff is going to be very easily diagnosed, like, oh, you gotta kill Skolas, need to make a Hunter, gotta go kill stuff on Mars or Venus. That doesn't really need much in terms of strategy, just go kill stuff. On Earth, the Siege of the Warmind mission is probably going to be your best bet by just killing all of the Thrall once you've made it inside the first area. The Moon is the Dark Beyond in front of the Temple of Crota. Venus would be the Stranger's Call story mission where there's just waves and waves of Vex. And Mars, a good one might be a Rising Tide. There's plenty of enemies in that mission. Anyway guys, that is what I have for you on Grimoire Score. A lot of it is pretty relaxing to do, or is at the very least some stuff you can do where you just don't have to pay attention to anything. You can load up a podcast, or maybe watch some TV, or just whatever, and go to town. That'll do it for me though. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.